What say you, Madam Four Lady, as to indictment number 2183CR00153 on offense number 001, wherein the defendant, Christine Ricci, is charged with the crime of murder? Is she guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Guilty of what? Murder in the second degree. Thank you. As to offense number 002, wherein the defendant, Christine Ricci, is charged with the crime of, of assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon, is she guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Your Honor, may the verdict be, affir be affirmed. Yes, they may. Thank you. Members of the jury, hearken to your verdict as the court has so recorded it. You, upon your oath, do say that the defendant, Christine Ricci, is guilty of murder in the second degree on indictment number 2183CR00153, offense number 001. So say you, Madam Four Lady. Guilty. So say you, all members of the jury. Guilty. guilty. You further upon your oath do say that the defendant, Christine Ricci, is guilty on indictment number 2183CR00153 on offense number 002 on the charge of assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon. So say you, Madam Four Lady. Guilty. So say you, all members of the jury. Guilty. guilty. Thank you. Your Honor, the verdict has been recorded and affirmed. Jurors, you may be seated. Jurors, I want to thank each of you for the time that you have spent uh, with us on this important matter and resolving this important matter. Uh, as I said to you in the closing remarks yesterday, you should have confidence in your abilities as jurors. Uh, and um, I know that being a juror is a very difficult thing, and I appreciate all the sacrifices that you've made uh, to be here and to resolve this case. And that includes the deliberating jurors and the alternate jurors. I'll be back in the jury room in a moment um, to get your feedback uh, with regard to the case. I like to hear what we're doing well as, as a system uh, for jurors and more importantly, how we can improve our system and make your experience easier and better. Uh, so I'll be back uh, to greet you and give you my personal thanks. I now lift off of you those rules. Your jury service is completed and uh, you can now speak to anyone about this case or no one at all. You can do any research you want about the case or none at all. And I'm supposed to tell you that you can now leave with not open minds or closed minds, but I hope and I know that you will go through your lives uh, open to new people and new experiences. I'll be in the back in a moment. Thank Court, you. Court, all right, Mr. Jerry. Uh, I know you've had no time to uh, speak to the victims with regard to the case, but what's the Commonwealth seeking with regard to sentencing when, is what I'm asking. Or do you want a moment to speak to the victims? If we could have a few moments, that would be great. Um, the, I know uh, Attorney Tim Bradle has been representing the, uh, the three uh, children, um, I just need to make sure that, uh, is your honor inclined to potentially do sentencing today or are you asking for? I, I actually would prefer not to do the sentencing today, okay. but I will do the sentencing today or at least I want to take into consideration what the victim's views are with regard to that Okay. And before um, I make a decision. Okay. Does the defense and wish the sentencing to go forward today? Why don't we get a little more information uh, before we decide how we're going to proceed today? Um, so I'll take a break. I'm going to speak uh, to the jurors and uh, send them on their way. Thank you. Anything else that we need to do at this moment? No, Your Honor. Thank you. All rise, please.